What is going on guys? This is your main man Ben here bringing you some crypto news and updates straight from Charm City, Baltimore, Maryland. Today is August 19, 2018. It's a Sunday. I hope you're having a good day. And yes, we're all excited because one more week, class is going to be back. Yes, uh, I'm, my head is spinning here because my kids are ooh, so anxious going back to school and all that stuff. But yes, guys. We have some news for you today. Um, yes, we are a little bit of greens right now, but before anything else, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button if you haven't. So we're going straight into our news. Bitcoin currently is at 6,516 against the US dollar and yet to hit 6,600. The most critical support, see if it will reach that 6,600 and we shall probably see a new grounds for it but currently right now we are experiencing a little bit of greens including into the alt markets ethereum currently trading at $301.97 plus 2.34 percent xrp at 5.53 percent bitcoin cash 2.05 yes everything right now is a little bit of greens guys iota glad to see iota at 12.03 percent Tron 3.36%. VeChain 12.65% for the past couple of days. VeChain was in the lead and they are going back strong right now. So, yes, biggest winner for today is Veritasium 23.68%. R Chain 13.68%. Once again, BE Chain still there. Ashillon BE Chain. And yes, um, that would be the one that we're anticipating. Because it looks like it's a little bit of positivity in the market. We are currently experiencing greenish movement, which is good, guys. So moving on to our miners. Old setup 9570, 11050 Ti, 21070, 11070 Ti, and 11080 at 13 cents kilowatt per hour here in Baltimore, Maryland. Mm. Yes, netting at $3.11 for Ethereum. And... $2.85 for Ethereum Classic. So once again, guys, it looks like ooh, the heydays are over. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, let's see, miningbullhub.com. This is what I use. Um, you see this up here. E3 ASIC, ETHash Algo. That's ETHash Algo. That's what? Dagger Hashimoto is now supported. Please check pools instruction page so e3 asic that's for ethereum yes they are active although they are not yet uh like craziness and all that stuff like what they have in um equihash we all know it's gonna come the bitmain always release the small version first and then they crank it up to the bigger brother version which is crazy with a lot of power so yes we can see that Dagger Hashimoto Ethereum is about to be decimated. And yes, guys, um, end of life for miners, especially Ethereum, is coming. So, yep. Going to our first news, guys. Going to our first news. Crypto market drops over 3% after Bitcoin fails to breach 6,600 resistance. So, we shall see, guys. Um, we are currently, what? Uh, 6,514, and it's a Sunday. So, if we see this breaking the resistance level at six thousand six hundred dollars then we shall see a little bit of different level heading towards by the end of august i, I hope so and in uh, uh september so along with the september we all know that sec is going to make their decisions regarding the etf applications so we shall see guys a um, little bit of positivity right now in the market and it looks like Monday is gonna come we shall find out moving on Binance teams up with any NEXO to kill traditional bank clones so looks like NEXO has made known to his team up with Binance BNB to disrupt the traditional bank clone system with its newest invention at the moment, Nexo now accepts Binance coins as collateral for minimum instant loans 
of $1,000, creating joy in the hearts of BNB lovers. That's the good stuff. BNB is creating some big moves. Big moves. CZ, one of the innovators right now. Strong, strong. Binance, man. I love, I love, I love Binance. But yep, it looks like they're partnering. And I believe, guys, this would be the future of it on the decentralized economy. And this is one of the reasons why banks, I believe, this, this is my own opinion. I believe this is one of the opinions or, or why banks are scared, governments are scared, because they're going to be taken out of the context and the picture that based on your credit worthiness um, what is your status these are one of the uh, uh, steps that banks will take a look at it before they uh, lend you money so in a decentralized world we probably will see this in the future that this is not going to be instant like the banks but this is a step forward towards that so given this would be enhanced further in the future banks what 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 would be the bank's main role if people are going to use this so yes once again this is a developing news and we shall find out what would happen in the future but yes this is a good news guys moving on to our next news tron's 121 translators gets 170,000 trx reward I hope I knew about this. Um, I can translate. Yes, I can speak English. I can speak Filipino language, Tagalog, and another dialect in Visaya in Philippines. I'm fluent in that one, man. Yes, there's good stuff right here, guys. So it looks like uh, um, there's a lot of 33 languages in Tron with 121 translators. They got uh, rewarded 170,000 TRX. So Tron appreciates everyone's contribution and encourages more Tron supporters to take in translation as stated by Tron. <sighs> I'm, I'm probably going to look at this one, guys. So Tron is making its move again once again, expanding that uh, decentralized web. They're making their moves with different languages to reach out. So, yep, moving on again with the Tron news. I'm not shilling about Tron guys, but they're making a lot of projects, a lot of improvements, and that's what we want on a coin. A coin that has a lot of projects, has a lot of innovations and movements, then we shall see some improvements along with it. So it looks like Tron has this program, Operation Tron Storm as even the Pope and Kanye West being tipped on Twitter using TRX. So Tron has this Tron Storm program that they are trying to reach out. Um, you know, TRX community raising awareness about their favorite coin and project. The Tron community is geared towards helping decentralize the web using a simple concept that can be summarized as being a community airdrop. So each person will tip five TRX tokens to ten people using at Go Seated on a specific day. We will announce soon. So it looks like... Uh, Pope Francis has this, how many, uh, yep, it looks like Pope Francis is already a TRX holder now, you can see this plus 10, at go seated, Kanye West as well, uh, yep, received tips 84, so yes, um, there's some instructions here, so, you know, there's a lot in Tron community, or you can visit go seated.io, so if you want to be part of it, that's where you want to go. And then it will progress. So yes, good stuff here, guys. Good stuff. Moving on. Binance pays 90% of its employees in its native BNB cryptocurrency. Of course, that is BNB. If I am employed, for example, Binance is my employer, I would love to get BNB. I would love to get paid BNB. If that's a flat rate, 20 BNB or 200 BNB in one week, you got what 400 BNB and that price fluctuates. That's a good thing. BNB is strong with the coin burn every uh, what's that quarter price goes up and all that stuff. So 
Binance employees choose to receive their salary in BNB tokens. Yep, smart people. Indeed. Can I can I apply? Yes, please. Yep, moving on, guys. Uh, yes, sentimental analysis. BTC remains neutral while altcoins to see a sharp price and positivity. So we are seeing here Bitcoin sentimental analysis. Once again, guys, uh, analysis, feelings, human feelings towards coins doesn't go together, man. Um, we shall see if this would go to the towards the bitcoins and the altcoins uh, market. Each one has their own strengths and weakness, weaknesses, but we all know that altcoin exists because of such as a support but in, in BTC in Bitcoin but then again Bitcoin is the floodgate opener right now and it has been BTC dictates the market so whatever you see in altcoins even if they go up or whatever whatever BTC dictates everyone will be affected so this is just a, a a uh, article in CoinGate, but I just thought that it's interesting enough for for us to bring it out. So altcoins pretty surprisingly show up a rise of positivity in them. Most coins above seen dips in negative sentiment clearly, showing that there's growing interest of people in them. Yes, um, we are growing. The space is growing, and yep. If you want to get rich, probably it's too late for you to get into the BTC train and altcoin would be the one. So we'll see five years from now. Moving on. McAfee's BTC wallet gets hacked. Oh, God, once again, John McAfee, a computer programmer and founder of McAfee Antivirus, we all know that, launched a BTC wallet named BitFi or BitFi. So he dished out a challenge, $250,000, claiming that the wallet happens to be unhackable. But yet, then again, that's the problem with this. People are trying to be playing a godlike role. And we all know McAfee is doing a lot of stuff. He's making a lot of shilling and all that stuff, man. And, and, and exposure would help. Bad or good publicity, it's good for them. So apparently that wallet has been hacked. Um, if I were you, if you want to get his product, it's up to you. But yes, that's the bottom line. His wallet get hacked. So, yep. Good luck, John. All right, moving on, moving on. Cardano's ADA team working to release the fi final product as soon as possible. So it looks like Charles Huskinson, Huskinson, he's the f uh, former part of the Ethereum project. He establishes Cardano and, and it looks like um, he's cranking it up. Fast forward. So it looks like Cardano's uh, uh, Charles Hutchinson, um, um he declared that the two projects, Icarus and, let me see, Icarus and what was the other one again? Yorowi is a light up. Icarus is a fully open source code base that would be the first step in a range of open source initiatives to provide developers with suit of tools for Cardano. So it looks like Icarus is for Google Chrome extensions. So it's an open source. Um, it looks like these are the projects that Cardano's releasing first off to make their wallets. And Euroi is a light client wallet launched by Emorgo earlier today. So Emorgo is an organization that supports new Cardano ventures. The organization declared it was interested in releasing the first implementations of Icarus to the community. So it looks like, yep, Cardano is cranking it up, guys, cranking it up. Um, they're making their moves. And I like Cardano. Promising coin. And if you ask me, uh, yes, I like Cardano. I shill in Cardano as well. I don't have a lot, but yep, I believe in this project. <laughs> Moving on to our last news, guys. 21-year-old Bitcoin dealer indicted on international money laundering charges. So, yes, a U.S. Attorney Office, Southern District of California, announced 
via press release that Jacob Burrell Campos, a 21-year-old Bitcoin dealer, was ordered held without bail today in connection with a 31-count indictment charging him with the operating illegal money transmitting business. Hmm. What's the gray area about this? Is that these are private sales. Um, not quite sure what's the extent of the Bitcoin law yet. But yes, it appears to be that in according to the press release, Jacob is a Bitcoin dealer who has sold 750,000 worth of Bitcoins across 971 transactions to over 900 US customers. Couple of things here, guys. Uh, I don't know what is the exact law about this one. Buying and selling Bitcoin or other altcoins personally without engaging to any other entities what I mean about that the middlemans such as the exchange to charge fees and all that stuff but if you sell it personally you get the money from the person and you get give them the BTC no matter how much is that worth it but worth of the BTC so you receive the cash you send them that so it's like personal transaction one-on-one -on -one. Um, I don't know about the extent of the law on that one um, if they got mutual agreement that they were gonna have a barter or exchange between a digital currency which is BTC against your fiat and my US dollar then how is that illegal I really don't know exactly how you're gonna draw the line in that one since there is no law for it um, yep SEC is yet to approve the ETF as well it's not related but it looks like this is the money money laundering stuff so it's up to you guys um if you feel like uh this is a biased one um i believe this is this is in the middle um if if people are willing to buy btc to this guy no matter what are his stuff here is it looks like he charged a five percent fee for his services that's their agreement so if you're going to indict this guy, um, uh, you might as well indict those people that bought stuff for him. Because this is just part of the problem. This is just the other side. So I think, uh, uh, I think you, gotta, you got to take a look at the buyers as well. So it's not all about the sellers. So it's up to you. Leave a comment if you want. But that's, that's just my two cents. So yes, that'll be it for today, guys. So. I appreciate you watching and start strong Monday's coming yeah excited uh, not but yep that'll be it for today always remember God is good all the time always remember it's your main man Ben here peace out